This one was really very, very interesting. The Dodgers stadium flooded while Christians claim divine wrath over drag nuns. Let's play a clip. I do not consider myself to be Christian. I do believe in God. But the images coming out of Los Angeles sure are making people think about life. The yeah, flooded Dodger Stadium. But let's slow down. Right now, Tropical Storm Hillary is making landfall. It has made landfall. And now we're seeing major flooding, water levels rising. People are getting out of their cars. Their cars are being washed away. The L.A. River is massively flooded. And people don't quite understand. When you look at videos right now, I'm seeing people say like, What's the big deal? It's just water going down a canal or whatever. It's like, dude, look, let, let me show you what? real photos of the typical, quote unquote, L.A. River, which is so small you could just hop over it LA compared to now, weather, which is raging waters. But what's happening right now, which is sparking Internet theories and making the religious say God will not be mocked, is the flooded Dodger Stadium. Just a few months ago, the Dodgers hosted the Drag Nuns which many people said was a mockery of God, was insulting. It was discriminatory. And as I said, I'm not a Christian person, but I'll tell you this. Having drag nuns, I believe, outright violates the 1964 Civil Rights Act by insulting and spitting in the faces of people based on their religious beliefs. And they dance around and say, no, no, that's not what we're doing. But it's quite literally what they're doing. That's what they're doing. So we've got some major updates as it pertains to what's happening in Los Angeles with not only this flood, but yes, my friends, a 5.1 earthquake hitting the area the other day. Crazy. And you know what you're going to get? Many secular individuals and leftists are going to say storms happen. It's climate change, in fact, and that proves it. Except for the earthquake, which, you know, they'll try and claim is climate change somehow. They'll argue that the heating of the planet actually causes an expansion of tectonic plates, which then vibrate more. And then, uh, yeah, you get my point. They'll always come yeah. up with some reason, but uh, sure, fine, whatever, maybe. The point is this. People can't help but look away from what just happened. And it rings, it brings up memories of another story. Y'all remember when uh, the George Floyd mural on this brick wall exploded? Yeah, what is That's right. Not. Witnesses say lightning struck the wall exactly where George Floyd's picture was. The on, only that section of wall was blasted off the building. He and then many people started suit, tweeting, suit. you know, like, God will not be mocked. No false idols, etc., etc. I got to say, you know, I don't know a whole lot about. I, I, I'm just going to say coincidences happen. And if you're looking for symbols and if you're looking for miracles, you may see a story like this and connect the two. It's been two months. You know, I think it was a couple of months after George Floyd. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the dates. But uh, I'm not one to immediately just say this is God's wrath. That's not really my position. But you will be God's hard wrath. pressed to convince anyone who is religious that this is anything but. I got to say, the George Floyd thing sends chills down your spine. Yes. Look, a storm hits, and it's like a once-in-a-lifetime storm because California never gets hit by hurricanes, and you've got people saying, gee yeah, golly. It is kind of crazy, don't you think? Like, when was the last time you heard about Los Angeles being hit by a hurricane? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's just... If someone came to me and said that they believe this is, the, uh, God, this is God's wrath, I'm going to be like... Well, look, coincidences can happen. I'm fairly agnostic. I do believe in God. I don't believe in like scripture and stuff like that, like prophecy, regardless of the religion. But I, ju I just got to tell you, you know, a month and a half What's or two thing? months after they do this, this, this drag nun thing, a, a, a city that never gets hit by hurricanes gets hit by an earthquake and a hurricane. And I'm kind of just like, ooh. <laughs> 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 Here's the story. And then we'll, and we'll, we'll talk about some videos. I hope everyone's, everybody's okay. And then, of course, the political response from Joe Biden, everyone's getting quite upset about. But check this out. Hurricane Hillary has made its way to Los Angeles. This is from um, uh, AS.com. And images of the Dodgers Stadium surrounded by water has fans in a panic. Does it really? If you've seen this image of Dodgers Stadium surrounded by floods of water and are debating its veracity and alone after this helicopter footage came out, the stadium does indeed appear to be surrounded by quite a bit of water. In both video and the photo, you can see the inside of the stadium itself seems to be unaffected. Some social media users even suggest that the flooding is just water on asphalt. I, I, I do think there are some areas where you can tell 
it is just wet, wet asphalt. But you can see the trees <laughs> submerged, man. I'm not saying it is a massive amount of, amount of water or anything like that. But, you know, many people are saying it's not that bad. It's not that bad. The stadium seems to be OK. The parking lot is another story. And L.A. continues to be under a flash flood warning. And we got well, tons of videos of flooding. Not that bad. So here's a. I mean, recently, my apologies. I don't know if you could see that, by the way, like the, the switching like that. It's 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 weird. I don't know what's going on with that. That is it works fine there. I think I just need to restart my software, but I'm streaming and recording. So it's pretty difficult to do. But yeah, I mean, what I was going to say is if you compare it to the flooding we've seen in the last few months of um in New York and Northeast, this probably isn't too bad. But I mean, it still looks, you know, pretty bad. Uh, a zoomed in image. I'm sorry. It really does look like outside either the stadium is dug into the ground or yeah, it looks like there's there's water. You you can see some areas appear to be flooded. Here you can see down at the bottom what looks like just a, what appears to be wet asphalt. And then you can see it looks like there is some degree of water in the surrounding area. But I don't know. Maybe it's not massive flooding and maybe it's people just exaggerating. I think it's fair to point that out. Yeah. We had this tweet, baseball history tweeting wild scene at Dodger Stadium today. And, uh, you know, some people are saying it's just wet asphalt. But I don't know when you take a look at uh, uh, some of the videos, let me see if I can pull up some this, of the, uh, the. He gets to the river in a, in a minute. But if you look at how, how flooded the L.A. River is, though, it's kind of reasonable to think that. Yeah, look at this car right here. It's reasonable to think that 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 the parking lot's probably also quite flooded. It is a flooding. Yeah, a lot of this. people are like, yo, the there, the there is some pretty intense flooding. To be fair, though, maybe it's just a bit of a bit of wet ground. I do think we have the actual. Uh, no, that's there. the George Floyd exploded. Do we not have the video? Oh, the video is right here. Oh, okay, no, it looks like they're zooming on an image. There is helicopter uh, footage of that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm sorry. That looks like flooding. I mean, maybe. That looks like yeah, flooding that looks like flooding. That definitely, definitely looks, looks like, flooding. like flooding, and everyone assumes that it is. I'm trying to be careful here. I'm trying to be fair and make sure we, uh, you know, we don't go overboard. Yeah, that's true. But I will point it's out not flooded, uh, 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 this story here from June 17th. Yes, yes. Dodgers honor anti-Catholic drag nuns more than an hour before first pitch inside nearly empty stadium. Oh, that's weird. The Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence received a Community Hero <laughs> Award. Yeah. And there was an earthquake, too. Did you hear, did you, <laughs> did you hear that news? A 5.1 earthquake in Ventura County was felt across parts of California. The Daily Mail reports desperate Californians climb trees to escape floods and mudslides slides, with many trapped in cars for hours after Hillary brings record rain. Palm Springs is submerged and 25 million are now under flood warnings. Shock video wow. shows earthquake rock at bar. That's crazy. Look at this flooding. I mean, this is I, this is nuts. I, I look, this place has been in a drought, you know, and people even right now are mocking what's going on. But we'll, we'll, we'll go through this. Look at this. Wow. The roads are flooded. I think this is probably what you're seeing at the Dodgers Stadium. You see how it's it looks to be about six inches of water. It's yeah, flooding, yeah. but it's not like you will drown in it. Well, people need to understand, knows. however, well, I'll, I'll tell you this. The biggest mistake people make is that they assume flooding is not dangerous. It's just water, right? All right, let me break it down for you. Two things. Current. You step in water that is moving and you think it's fine. And then you get flipped over really, really fast. This is one of the biggest mistakes people make. They see running water in like a creek or a stream or, or a flood, and they're like, oh, it's not that deep. I can walk in it. And then they step one foot. The water pushes their foot. They slip. They can't grip it. And they flip you over, land on their back, and get washed now. away. Now, if you are young and strapping and strong, you can probably get out of this. But some people, then you can't grab anything. More importantly, debris. You walk around in flood waters, and you get cracked in the leg by like a large piece of wood or a jagged piece of metal or something like that. This is why floods are dangerous, not because a bit of water is scary. So they're saying the National Weather Service continued to warn of life-threatening flooding from heavy rain in western L.A. County and eastern Ventura County last night. The warnings have extended into today with the service saying areas that normally do not experience flash flooding will flood. Lives and property are in great danger through Monday. California Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency last night for much of Southern California with flash flood warnings. Until at least 3 a.m. today in an area more accustomed to drought. That's amazing. Now, this is the story that I wanted to uh, to pull up because this is what people are starting to reference, saying God will not be mocked 
when you look at the flooded Dodgers stadium. I just want to stress um, an area prone to drought was just hit by a hurricane. OK, tropical storm. But it was a category. I think it was a category four. And then as it approached Baja, California, it was downgraded to a tropical storm. And now Los Angeles is flooding. I want to show you this because this is a classic story that everybody remembers. George Floyd mural in North Toledo reduced to rubble after being struck by lightning. Mayor and artists say it will be replaced. The piece was created by Toledo artist David Ross. The building was said to be stable and secure. Blows up again. That would be outrageous. Prior to the lightning strike. However, the facade was not. Can I just can I just show you this image right there? Look at take a look at that. Only the portion How? that had George Floyd was blown out. It just uh, to be fair, it's a like large portion that was blown. Look at all the, I, I, this is just this is crazy to me. This 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 story blew my mind when it happened. I think we have uh, some photos here. Take a look at this. Look at There's this. other parts of the mural on the sides that are fine. They're fine. Look at this. Here's the original image. You can see it right there in the middle. This is just what is this weird. change of mind? And then you've got George Floyd with a crown. And what happened? Pockets of clouds Look at rolled this. overhead. No big storms or anything, but there were storm clouds. Lightning struck the building, blowing out just George Floyd. And you get a whole bunch of people going like, <laughs> weird. <laughs> false very, idols very, much? Very weird. It's crazy. It's crazy to see. Now, I must confess, my friends, while many may look at this and say it is proof of God's judgment and his wrath, you know, I, I don't. It's not for me to go there. I'll point it out and I'll say like, you know, I don't ignore stuff like this, but I do want to stress there were probably many buildings throughout the country that have been struck by lightning and had their facades blown out. There are probably many areas that suffered earthquakes. We don't really think about them. We don't claim that God is passing judgment on, you know, a small town in the Pacific Rim because an earthquake hit. We don't think about it. It doesn't end up in the news and no one talks about it. This was significant because George Floyd with a crown was blown off the wall and nothing else happened. Just the facade, just a single layer of bricks collapsed. And they were witnessing it was a lightning strike, watching it blow out of the wall. Okay, but unless you track every lightning strike and every facade and every damaged building, and then we talk about that and do the actual breakdown, there's not much I can say about this other than people probably want it to be the wrath of God to, to have some significance. Yeah. So what can I really say about the, the Dodger stadium? For one, I personally, as a non-Christian, am deeply, deeply offended by what they did with these drag nuns. Yeah, same. The reason I'm offended is because these people are liars and they're hypocrites. And, and I'm sick of the double the standard face. as that they all stand people. here and laugh at these men who are mocking Catholics. Yeah. How can you, how dare you come out and tell me that I can't have an opinion, that I'm not allowed to speak, and then you openly spit in the face of a religious group that is protected under the 1964 Civil Rights Act. That is absolutely ridiculous and offensive, and it makes me despise and hate these people. They are such Tim evil really and despicable upset. people. They really you want are, to come though. out and claim that as a religious person, you know, you have a right to assert over someone else's life and things like that. Make your argument. Fine. You want to come out as one of these uh, drag nuns and be party to a group that argues no one else is allowed to speak, but you are. And then you defy your own logic and rulemaking. No. Sorry, I don't play that. So at the very least, I can say this. When the surrounding area around the stadium is flooded and it it appears to be. Well, you reap what you sow, I guess. Yep. I'm not saying that God did this. I am simply saying I have no sympathy for you, for you people, these hypocrit- hip- hypocritical Marxists, that's what I mean by you people, Marxists and communists, far left extremists, hypocrites and authoritarians. I absolutely reject and despise the hypocrisy of these evil people. How dare you? You know, LGBTQ you. pride night. You can celebrate pride without spitting in the face of a religious group of people. Exactly. And the fact that L.A. did this, I think they're being sued and they should be sued by every single California Christian group. Now, uh, you know, I was just in uh, Portland, Maine this past weekend. It was fun. And I saw a church and it had pride flags. It had progress pride flags and it said trans rights or human rights in the door. And I'm like, I don't expect those churches 
to actually file lawsuits in this regard. But uh, I don't consider them to be real churches. I I don't think any group of people that allows themselves to be mocked actually believes what they're saying. So when these groups come out and insult and mock you, let's talk about the uh, devastation and destruction that's currently going on. And then we'll get a little political with Biden's response. Take a look at this video. This is a uh, Tess T. Eccles Brown, PhD, said, why are there so many cars floating down the L.A. River Basin? It's an interesting question, and the video is kind of crazy. Take a look at this. Yeah, the flooding is pretty bad in L.A. When the river basin, which is normally walkable, and you remain dry, you're not even walking in water, has cars floating down. Take a look at this one. Wall Street apes tweets, the media says the deadly hurricane Hillary is wreaking havoc all across San Diego County, Southern California. The L.A. River is out of control. Meanwhile, California residents continue to post their own videos when they hype up deadly hurricane on the news. This piece of shit. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Nothing. It's just light drizzle. Light drizzle. Oh, LA don't works, make the mistake, though, right? my friends. You see, this is a really oh, great video so to exemplify how little dynamic. Southern California's uh, uh, Southern Californians experience dangerous weather. I remember my first hurricane. It was Hurricane Irene in Virginia. And we were getting all these reports saying, stay indoors. It's going to be really dangerous. The hurricane is coming. Having grown up in Chicago, oh boy, I've seen some storms. I remember I had a, there was a, 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 we had a tree in our front yard. At one of my uh, one of my uh, apartments, I so like the apartment Michigan. in Chicago, it's like a house with the top floor. Gnarly, gnarly and floor. then during the storm, it's oh, like actually, two- when I was like three years old, I was like in a, I was at my uh, grandparents' cabin, pretty old but not super old. It was built in like the 1920s, and yeah, there's a there was a tornado like less than 100 yards away. That we went up the next day, and all these trees were all just thrown around. It was it was insane. Two in the afternoon. And the sky turns green and it looks like it's nighttime out. You hear rumbling and explosions in the sky. And then all of a sudden we hear a whoomp onto the building. The tree was, the wind hit so hard. The tree, which is in the front yard, smacked the building. And we thought it was going to rip out of the ground. We were like, whoa, because the tree actually was decently far away from the building. But the wind hit so hard, it hit the building. Wow. That was kind of scary. I had another apartment where... The wind blew out my window. So we have one of those windows that can fold down. Like you've probably seen them. And something happened. I don't know. The the window got knocked out the glass out without breaking. And then rain was coming in horizontally into my apartment. And I'm getting blasted. And I have to run up and slam the window shut. Like what? I think someone must have left it unhatched or whatever. It just blew over. Like not like it got knocked out of the frame or anything. But I've seen some storms, man. I remember growing up, it's, it's like in the afternoon, it's sunny, and then all of a sudden the sky turns dark green. So when I heard a hurricane was coming, I was like, oh, man, this is going to be crazy because thunderstorms in Chicago are crazy That's what happened with me and Harvey and then what happens? in Texas. It lightly rains, and there's wind, and then there's a bunch of bits of tree and leaves and twigs in the ground. And I was like, That's it. But people don't get the wind creates a surge and floods everything around the coast. To be fair, though, I'm in Austin, so I'm I'm kind of far from the coast. But I was like, there's a hurricane coming, man. This is going to be nuts. It's just rain. That's the serious nature of it. So when I was up in Hurricane Sandy in New York, I understood this. I was in lower Manhattan in the financial district, and I went down to uh, I was by the New York Stock Exchange. News was reporting the stock exchange was flooded. So I walked out and looked and I was like, I'm standing here in front of the stock exchange. Ain't no flooding. However, just down the street, I watched as the water just started rising up. There's no rain. I'm perfectly dry. You can hear a whoa above the buildings. Really creepy because the wind was being disrupted by the buildings. But above it was really fast and really loud. Oh, that makes the wind sense. is hitting the water and causing it to be pushed up. And then it starts flooding the area. So the flooding was really bad. It was several feet. So this is what these people don't understand. You're in an area that is not near the coast, not a floodplain. And you're like, this is just some rain. Yeah. And then you can take a look at what starts to happen. Take a look at this. Jock Blue says, for those not from California, the LA River is not a river. It's a man-made water system. and It's usually dry. Yes. Famously, skateboarders will do kickflips over the river basin. And this is actually high. These photos, look at this photo. You can see that there's, uh, it's mostly dry. And you can see there's water 
kind of trickling out the sides. This is actually really high for the L.A. River. There's a small, thin strip in the middle that normally has water in it. And that's it. You can you can lightly jog and just hop right over it. Skateboarders actually do tricks back and forth over it. That's how low it is. And then you get this Studio City, California, in my entire life. I've never seen the L.A. River this full. Yes, the basin is capturing a lot of the water and that water is flowing like crazy. Let me show you a video of insane people doing insane things. Here are some joggers. This is the thing about California. These people have never experienced. So uh, let, let's slow down. Let me go back to that photo of what uh, it normally looks like. Here's a woman insane. in front of two cars, and they're in, uh, I think this is from a movie or something. I think that's great. It's about to be a right? race. John Travolta and you can see movie. cars are driving here. You can see this photo of the water level actually decently high. That is. But you could stand there that's what just fine. Like now let me show you this video. You've got these two guys running. Look at the white, the, 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 the water. It is flowing rapidly. This is insane. I have never seen it like this. And these two guys come across water flowing into the river and they stand there. Now, I got I, you got to look at this because you see how fast the water is flowing. These guys are standing there like, OK, like, what do we do here? These guys clearly have never experienced running water in their lives. OK, anybody who's ever been out in uh, the middle of nowhere on a hike, you've come across a river. You know exactly what happens when you step into water that is low, but running very quickly. As I mentioned earlier, let me just show you what they do. So here, you know, they're just standing there. They clearly think about it for a second. And then the guy just runs through it. Ah. And then the other guy runs through it. And that's that. Good for them. I'm glad they survived. And they nearly just died. I know, I know. (laughs) There are ways to get through this without being washed into that water. But if you fall into... That swollen L.A. River, you're You're probably going to die. You're not. You are being rushed along. There's debris. Debris. You're going to be slamming into things. You won't be able to control it. And you probably will just drown. When these guys come to this flowing water, never do this. Go up and over the water. I mean, first of all, don't go jogging along the path on the L.A. River. Crazy joggers in the rain next to swollen L.A. River and tropical storm. Hillary, definitely not recommended behavior. Yeah, that water is flowing so quickly and look at the way they run through it. Oh, man. You know what, man? I just I just have very little sympathy for these people who live in these cities. Look how he see how he he, he jogs through it. They hop left and right they on like one foot. That it. is exactly how you get washed away on one foot. If you lose traction, the water will push you over. You will fall, get swept in the river, and then it's goodbye. So I wouldn't recommend going through this at all, but certainly that's not the way you do it. And so here we are. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Yeah, these guys, in my opinion, I don't know the level of danger that. or whatever, I but I that's crazy that, that they, Maybe they're they lucky even, they maintain. I tra- really wouldn't even tra- be scared of like really getting swept into the river. But if you do, you're not going to be able to live. You're going to drown. There's no, you can't swim through that. that that's not our way. Action and didn't get washed in and killed. Crazy, man. I don't know, though. You can call it wrath of God. I got no idea. They're saying the worst Uh, has yet to come. So right now, as we are talking about this and I'm showing you these videos, they're saying more is coming. In the meantime, Joe Biden's getting roasted for his response to what's going on in Maui. And I think this is really important. We're dealing with a major crisis in Los Angeles. We got a major crisis in Maui. Biden is being roasted for only giving these people $700 in Maui. And so I just want to say this. Here's what you can expect. They will not provide proper funding to the damage for, for those who live in Los Angeles, no. nor for those who live in Maui. But they'll steal your tax but money. Give it to in Ukraine. Blank no, in check, Ukraine. baby. Oh, yeah. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, crazy story. Uh, it's really interesting. The George Floyd mural to me is just what? It just blows his, that part out. And it wasn't even part of a storm or anything. Just that one little some clouds. Bam. Wow, that is, it's just, it's so weird. Wrath of God and stuff, I don't know. It is weird there was an earthquake and stuff and right after the nuns and everything, but I don't know, California is always doing crazy stuff. So you'd think they'd be getting Wrath of God in a lot, right? Yeah, but I don't know, who knows? Uh, But I think I'll leave it there. Definitely appreciate you joining me for the first episode of the David Carson Show. Again, we'll be live here 
each and every day from 1 p.m. Eastern to 3 p.m. Eastern. And yeah, we'll be, be doing the same thing, hanging out. Right now, I, I don't really have anyone in the chat. I'm such a new podcast. But the idea will be to do some stories, take about 20 minutes to chat, hang out, and get your input as well. Again, definitely appreciate it again. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for daily news updates, smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and share your thoughts on the story in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.